We receive this question, do all anxiety symptoms subside at the same time when recovering from hyperstimulation, or do they subside at different times and different rates? Well, typically anxiety symptoms, which are symptoms of hyperstimulation, which is chronic stress, will subside at different times and different rates when you're recovering from hyperstimulation. For example, some symptoms might subside fairly quickly, some might take a long time to subside, and some might persist right till the end. It just depends on how your body manages stress. So the expectation is that you can expect them to subside at different rates and times, not all together, and it's going to depend on your body in terms of which ones go first and which ones go last. So that's kind of common how it is. Now, you can have a whole bunch of symptoms subsiding at the same time. That's common too. But typically, they usually go at different rates and times where some people have some symptoms that linger right to the end and some people have symptoms that go right away. So it's going to depend on your body. All of those things are common. All the variations are common. So just expect that it's going to be what it's going to be and that's it. But continue to work on your hyperstimulation reduction give your body time, contain your anxiety, and you'll find that your symptoms will subside as your body recovers from hyperstimulation.